Hello and welcome to the news from Bahrain International with me, Keith Johnston. Following the Director's of His Majesty the King's Representative for Humanitarian Works and Youth Affairs and Bahrain Royal Equestrian and Endurance Federation a Brief Honorary President, His Highness Sheikh Nas bin Hamad Al Khalifa, the First Deputy Chairman of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports, the SCYS, and President of Bahrain Olympic Committee, His Highness Sheikh Khalid bin Hamad Al Khalifa, delegated the President of the Royal Equestrian Federation and Endurance Racing, Sheikh Isa bin Abdullah Al Khalifa, to crown the champions of the 120km race. The event was attended by the Vice President of the Supreme Council for the Environment, the SCE, Deputy Chairman of the SCYS Implementation, Coordination and Follow-up Committee, his Highness Sheikh Faisal bin Rashid Al Khalifa, and the title was won by Team Victorious. On this occasion, His Highness Sheikh Nasser praised the support of His Highness Sheikh Khalid for the championship, which achieved many successes and emphasised the great development witnessed in this sport, which is reflected in the international participations. His Highness affirmed the many gains achieved in the championship through the wide participation of stables and the strong and exciting competition witnessed in the 120km race in its stages. His Highness indicated that the wide participation is a great motivation for everyone before taking part in the most important Bahraini Championship, which is the upcoming His Majesty the King Championship. Sheikh Nasser congratulated the winners of the race and expressed his appreciation for the efforts of the members of the committees working in this event and praised the wide international participation in the race. For his part, His Highness Sheikh Khalid expressed his appreciation for the continuous follow-up and support of His Highness Sheikh Nasser to the sport of endurance, praising His Highness for the success of the championship in terms of organisational and technical aspects and the distinguished level presented by the riders throughout the tournament. His Highness Sheikh Khalid indicated that the championship has achieved many distinctive gains and witnessed a strong and exciting competition among the participants in the four stages of the race, praising the efforts made by all committees in preparing for the Khalid bin Hamid Championship race and the upcoming races. The Ministry of Industry, Commerce and Tourism shut down 23 trading outlets which flouted the mandatory precautionary measures for combating the novel coronavirus, COVID-19. A lawbreaker was sentenced to one year in prison for repeated violations, while others found in breach of the mandatory measures were fined 1,000 BD to 5,000 BD. The clampdown was in accordance with Article No. 121 of Law No. 34 of 2018, issuing the Public Health Law whereby all judicial decisions referred from the public prosecution to the judiciary were issued within a period not exceeding 24 hours. 
The Ministry said that 74 commercial establishments were visited on the night of the New Year holiday to ensure their compliance with the mandatory precautionary measures. A total of 298 of commercial establishments were visited as of the 5th of January. The clampdown, which was coordinated with the Ministry of Health, the Ministry of Interior and the Bahrain Tourism and Exhibition Authority, BTEA, aimed to protect members of society and ensure the health and safety of all visitors to tourist facilities, such as hotels, restaurants and tourist venues. 74 defendants received today sentences ranging from three months imprisonment and fines between 1000 BD and 2000 BD. The Chief Prosecutor of Ministries and Public Institutions said that the court also ordered the deportation of an expatriate. The defendants were accused of flouting safety rules to curtail the spread of the novel coronavirus. The public prosecution received 45 notifications from the Interior Ministry Security Directorates and the Public Health Directorate on violating ministerial decisions, mandating visitors of public place and commercial outlets to wear face masks, adhere to social distancing, avoid more than five-person crowds in rows in public places and comply with safety regulations in hair and beauty salons, restaurants, coffee shops and establishments containing swimming pools. The regulations also mandate to abide by the guidelines regarding sport activities in health clubs, sport academies and outdoor stadiums. The Ministry of Health said today that the number of active coronavirus cases reached 2,650 with 199 recoveries, 349 registered new cases. 161 of the new registered cases are expatriates, 176 are contacts of active cases and 12 are travel related. The Ministry urges everyone to comply with the guidelines issued by the National Task Force for combating the coronavirus. Setting off from Riyadh, Saudi Arabia's capital, towards al Qasima, Bahrain Road Extreme faced a technically challenging day of driving with windy, stony tracks to navigate over the course of 661-kilometre stage. Sebastian Loeb suffered an early navigational error before a series of punctures that added nearly an hour to his day's driving, leading to him finishing 20th for the day. This puts Loeb in 10th overall. Fellow BRX driver Nani Roma was hunting down a top three place at certain points of the stage, but also suffered his own navigational difficulties that placed him eighth. After five stages, Roma keeps himself in the top ten, seventh overall. For stage six, the drivers have a 517km route, split over 170km of road and 347km of special stage driving. Primarily dunes, Loeb and Romer will make their way across the Saudi Arabian desert on their way towards Hail, the location of the Dakar Rally rest day. Uh, yeah, but uh, yeah, it's hard stage, yeah, really hard stage. Uh, we are lucky that we're raining the sun. This, this means the dunes are hard. But these dunes in the hot conditions, it will be sure hard. But yeah, it was a hard stage, a typical hard rally Dakar stage. Yeah, but uh, yeah, in the beginning, um, really difficult in navigation. But yeah, it's part of this game. It's part of the cross country. We are happy. Uh, day by day, we improve. We learn about the car, many things. This means that, yeah, it, uh, we are happy. We are happy about the race. And uh, yeah, the, for us, the, the most important is every day to improve something, to increase our speed. And from the moment, we are happy. Yes, it was a complicated and long stage. Uh, we made a lot of mistakes in the navigation. Uh, we lost ar around one hour, I think, uh, searching uh, tracks and uh, waypoints. So it was a bit boring at the end. Uh, on the driving side, it was okay. Uh, I had some puncture, but for the rest, it was uh, no, no big problem. Uh, I tried to, to keep a good rhythm. I, I think the rhythm in the stage driving was good, uh, it's, but uh, we lost a lot of time in the, in the navigation.